Alright, good evening everyone, it's Paul Daniels here again, and this is the uh, power supply from the old machine, the old core duo that we fixed up earlier. Uh, why am I taking the screws out already? Okay, what we're going to do is just use the yarn. Yeah, don't normally use the tester, but in this case, we just want to load it up and see if it is squealing on any of the lines. Nah. This one's a little... Okay, it's quite difficult to get into this. Just seeing if there's any pins corroded or anything like that. Shouldn't be, but there's a bit of discoloration on a couple of the pins. But, uh, yeah. I think I'm a bit of a weak bastard or something. <laughs> Can't get those things in properly. There we go, more Mollocks, crap. Come on. Let's see what happens. Uh, the reason why I do this backwards like that is if you plug something in and it is shorted out, uh, it's got a dual purpose actually. First thing is obviously when your muscles contract, it means I'm not going to be grabbing onto this and holding on to the end of my life. The second thing is it's going to teach me a lesson because this hand is going to go straight to my face like that and give myself a forehead slap to teach me not to do that again. There we go. And it seems like our positive 12 volts is sucking. So, at least we know now, it really was the power supply. But now I want to know why. And given the age of it, I think we can all... It would be a fairly uh, expected bet to say that there's a dud capacitor in there. Like I said, this is for fun. This is definitely not for repair. Well, I do wonder if this power supply is actually being replaced before because I don't think that uh, yeah I don't think this is as old as the machine is it? Let's see. Mm. Uh, let's see, two thousand and eight, nine. Yep, so. Okay, so it's nine years old. And let's see, can we spot any caps? Well, I'll be honest, and so there's nothing actually jumping out at me. Alright, let's get this grommet out. Come on, rotate you out. Where are you? There you go. Try not to slash my fingers. Yeah, I can be walking around just doing my daily jobs, and I'll have uh, little mental flashbacks to events in the past where I've cut my fingers on metal edges and things like that. Yeah, I hate it when the brain does that. Honestly, I mean, what's the deal with that? So the brain says, "Hey, remember this." And you're just like, oh, fuck you, brain. <laughs> well, honestly, on that 12-volt uh, line, there's nothing... There's none of them venting out the top. They could be just dried out internally. So it goes to show you can't always rely strictly on visuals. I mean, it's always great if there is a visual. And then you can go, yep, well, I think I'll replace those. Uh, that's why, if we are repairing a power supply like this, generally replace all of the uh, caps, particularly the same brand. <laughs> oh, this is a nice change. Uh, see how that's got some decent length in the cable? Yeah, thank you, thank you. That's 
very nice of him to do that. Probably cost him an extra tenth of a cent. But it makes my life easier. Uh, yeah, you rather. Mm -hmm. So I really can't spot anything visually. It's usually the case until you do find something that's visually obvious and then you go, oh yeah, why didn't I see that before? <laughs> what I might do is actually just remove the caps and see if, see if any of these have vented underneath. Normally I'd be asking for trouble if I stick my fingers like this off a power supply that's been running within the last half hour. But if you, if you do that and you're not careful, you, you might just go kablam and slam yourself in the head again. Uh, <coughs> enough with the uh, attempted comical talk. Let's get serious with some heat. Since I am legitimately not caring about using this power supply again, I'm just going to clip that off. And I'm going to clip pretty much all these leads. I don't ever really reuse this stuff. Often I suppose when I put it into recycling they just get rid of all the plastic to cover the copper. <laughs> you will note that there's um, a pretty good bend in there and there's all been a lot of heat here. Actually I can see uh, this um, transformer here it's actually melted a bit there. You can see the curvature of the board there. Not too dissimilar to the curvature of the earth, all you flat earth weirdos. Honestly, I love that one. Flat earthers, um, perpetual motion, and things like that. Free energy, I will say though. I think solar energy should be considered as free energy. Just because it's not esoteric, just because we're able to use it, doesn't mean it's not free energy. But no, if something's mainstream, it doesn't count. Oh, boo frickin' who? You people just want to be special for the sake of being special. It's sort of like the people who used to use Linux before it became popular and then it's like, oh god, Linux sucks, it's popular now, I better get out of here. And you go running off to FreeBSD or something and then FreeBSD becomes popular and you're like, crap, I better get off to NetBSD now. Uh, look at programming languages. Uh, probably got people programming in Haskell and uh, BrainFuck. Yes, BrainFuck is actually a legitimate language as in it actually exists, it's not some bullshit. Yeah. But uh yeah. The name's pretty crazy. I am actually gonna change my mind here. Yes, I'm allowed to do that. I am suspecting that the caps probably aren't too much trouble, uh the cause. I'm just breaking shit off here. I have a feeling that our problem may lie somewhere more around here with respect to all this intense heat, the melting. Uh, yeah. Could have been. Uh, oh, there's a, there's a cap in here. Uh, I always forget where it is or what it's. You know, well, where they usually put it. But it's, it's a low current 12 volt line. And. No one really pays attention to it because it's not one of the main ones, but it does tend to dry out, lose capacitance, and cause these sort of issues. 
you don't really notice it because it's not actually a venting bulging cap so it's probably that one and honestly it's getting late now I really don't feel like doing it so you've just had to sit here listen to me talk crap for 10 minutes maybe 15 for no real great reason at all oh well but uh yeah look at that that's yeah that's uh, a really good shape looking board I think I'll throw that nicely in the bin. And the burning on there is quite intense. It really got hot, that one. Okay, thank you for letting me waste your time yabbering away, talking about things that don't actually have anything to do with electronics. And sorry we couldn't really, you know, do much more with this board, but uh, like I said, I'd say it's more to do with overheating and this secondary 12-volt 12, 12 line uh, capacitor that's probably dried out and given us grief. But I uh, appreciate you watching, and um, I guess I'll see you guys next time. And as always, if you're wondering sort of the equipment I'm using, what I'm planning on using, check down in the links, they're down there, and send me questions if you've got any. Thank you very much, and I'll see you guys next time.